Hey guys, wanted to take you through a video here of my copper band butterfly. I'll show you, uh, show you kind of him in the tank and how he's getting along with his tank mates. I've had him for about 10 months. Um, he eats very well. I'll kind of walk through what I did to get him to eat, uh, what I feed him, and kind of his journey home. So when I first got this guy, uh, the very first thing I did was I got him from the store and I wrapped a, that bag in my jacket. Blacked him out for the entire car ride home so he didn't uh, didn't freak out with different changing sceneries and things. I blacked him out. As um, soon as I got home, acclimated him into the tank and uh, turned off all my lights. Just blacked out the tank overnight, let him have some time to acclimate into his new environment, move around without... Uh, other fish swarming at him because they're all going to go into sleep mode. Uh, so I gave him a little bit of that extra acclimation time. The next day, I did reduce my white lighting time just by a little bit. So he didn't get, again, he got more dark blue time than he did uh, the full white time. So if you kind of take a look at him there, um, one, he's always grazing around, looking at the rock work, picking at things. Uh, one definite advantage I had when I got him, the place I got him from had him in a separate tank. So he was in a tank with just a tang. Um, that tank was blacked out and that tank was full of live rock. So he wasn't in a normal display like most places have them. Um, he wasn't blasted with white, white light. He wasn't uh, given no hiding spots. He was given plenty of opportunity to hide and graze as easily as he would in a home aquarium. So that initial shock, that initial stress uh, acclimating into his new life in an aquarium was was reduced due to the circumstances he was in in the shop so that definitely helped as well now he does get along with everybody um, being a peaceful fish um, he does have a little bit of a beef now and then with my yellow tang um, when I got him the only thing I had in the tank was a fox face him and the fox face became buddies really quick uh, the yellow tang and tomney were added later and uh, you can see right there with the yellow tang he is not the biggest fan of the yellow tang they get along they've been together for six seven months at this point um, everybody's fine you can see Every so often he does say, you're getting too close to me, I don't like you, and pushes him away. Um, but he's doing very well, and uh, everybody gets along and everybody's happy. In just a second here, you're going to see him eat. Um, what I feed him primarily is P. mysis. When I first got him... I fed brine, P.E. Mysis, and I also got shrimp from the meat counter at the grocery market, raw shrimp, and I shaved it very fine, like, like down to the size of brine shrimp. I took all three of those items and I put them in a cup with garlic guard and I let it marinate. Uh, garlic guard I simply used as an extra attractant for flavoring. Post then, pretty much 100% of his diet, with few exceptions, is P.E. Mysis. You can see here he eats very well. He loves it. Um, you'll see kind of as he gets full, he doesn't stop picking at it. But what he'll do is he'll pull in the mysis and then spit out uh, the head and just eat the tail so i can tell when he's starting to get full you see him there spit it out when he's starting to get full he starts pulling it in chomping it and spitting pieces back out and only eating the tail meat uh, 
when he's hungry and I first start feeding, he eats everything. He doesn't spit nothing out. So I can watch and I kind of know when it's time that he has filled up and start watching the other guys. The other guys get pellets and seaweed and all that other stuff. So I'm less concerned about how much they eat of the mysis. I'm more concerned about how much he eats because this is his diet, 100%. He doesn't eat any of the other stuff that I throw in the tank. The other stuff is just for the other guys. So check him out. He's got a little bit longer on the video here of him grazing around. Um, give me a like and subscribe and I'll be putting out some more content. If you have any questions, hit him in the comments. Thanks guys.